things we are most excited about here on The Good Stuff is getting to know kids who are doing amazing things. My next guest is a Canadian teen who, at just 14 years old, was tapped by producers to animate a scene in Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Let's meet today's good kid. <laughs> My name is Preston Mutanga, I'm 14 years old, and I'm an animator. I started drawing when I was about three years old, when my dad started doing caricatures at work. He was sitting at his desk, and I kept pestering him, so he just drew um, some characters on like a sticky note, and then gave them back to me. So I scribbled on it back, and then gave it to him. Then he drew another character and then gave it back to me. And then I kept pestering him for more and then the cycle pretty much just continued. I got into Lego animation by watching a lot of the Lego movies when I was younger. To this day, I still think they're amazing movies, also directed by Phil Lord and Chris Miller, directors of Across the Spider-Verse. What I love about Lego animations is how creative you could be. I recreated the trailer for Across the Spider-Verse because I was a huge fan of the first one when it came out. It was just so creative, it blew my mind. I was super excited for Across the Spider-Verse. Like, I, didn't, I couldn't believe they were making a second one. Then I realized that like I do Lego stuff on my channel, and also I like uh, Spider-Man a lot, so what if I combine the two and make, uh, remake the Across the Spider-Verse trailer in Lego? Honestly, I was wondering what he was up to because, you know, uh, he wouldn't come down to eat. Um, he was staying there for hours. It was all down my room. It took me around like two weeks-ish, like late December to early January. After that, I posted it to Twitter and YouTube, not really expecting much, but then like, it really, it really blew up like for me. A day later, Sony contacted me through my email and I was like, just, I was so surprised. Although, sadly, I didn't see it until like a month later. The email got sent to junk, so yeah, they DM'd me on Twitter saying that they had emailed me previously, but wanted to try again on Twitter DM. So yeah, thankfully they tried again and I saw it. On the first Zoom call, Christina Steinberg and Christopher Miller were there, producer and director, and they were the ones that invited me to work on the movie Across the Spider-Verse. The Lego part, if I'm up for it. And I was like, yeah, of course, I wanted to animate a scene in like this, this movie, it's amazing. And that made me feel just like out of this world, like super, super happy. Some people are gonna be famous, like my some of my friends mainly. Um, I try to stay, you know, like grounded, but like, yeah, you know, it's it's pretty cool that I'm considering that. Wherever you go from here, you have to promise to take care of that little boy for me. Make sure he never forgets where he came from. In the future, I plan to be a director and animator. Along with animation, the possibilities are like endless. That's why I, I love it so much. Dude, I am so pumped that you are here, and I hear you brought your mom and dad too. Yeah, they're in the audience. Yes. Uh... <laughs> so, Theodore and Giselle, how did it feel when the producers reached out? I was shocked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did not believe it, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. um, we didn't really believe it, and the reason why uh, my husband had to uh, verify yeah. if it was a scam. Yes! Yeah, I, I, I had to contact <laughs> Patrick O'Keefe via LinkedIn just yeah. to make sure the email was legit. So how did that planning process go about? Did you get to have, like, meetings with them, and did they storyboard, or did you just kind of say, hey, this is what I want to do? Oh, it was kind of both. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, on the first Zoom call, there were, um, there were storyboards. Mm -hmm. So then I had to follow them, like, mm -hmm. kind of loosely, mm -hmm. but, you know, putting my own spin to it as well. Yeah. Yeah, the whole, like, entire process took around three months. Wow. One month actually animating, and then two months just doing the, um, like, you know, planning and stuff, like yeah. contracts, that. And then, um, yeah, that's pretty, that's how it went about. That's so adult. Yeah, like, it's the, <laughs> the contracts and also the planning stages, and I think seeing kind of behind the scenes on how much work goes into kind of pre-planning, too. It was really awesome. Thank you so much. Oh, my gosh, thank you. So, what do your friends think? Um, my, my friends, honestly, all the time, they, like, um, they keep calling me famous, like, you know? <laughs> yeah, like, just like, Preston, you know, hey, you're famous, hey, you're famous, please don't leave me. <laughs> yeah, like, just stuff like that, you know, and I keep trying, like, hey, I'm not going anywhere. No, I mean, you did go to L.A. for the movie premiere, which is pretty cool. True, yeah, but I came back, so. Yeah, you did come back. <laughs> but look and fly in that amazing suit, yeah. Thank yeah. You so, much. so, 
we are so proud of you here at The Good Stuff. I'm so proud of you. I'm so grateful for you to come here. So we've got a couple surprises for you. And I heard that you've got a Lego set that you've really been wanting, so I wanted to knock that off your list. So, check it out. Yeah! You're welcome! Okay, so, why is this set in particular? I know, but why is this set in particular special? Um, mainly because, like, you know, it has Spider-Man in it, yeah. and I, like, absolutely love Spider-Man. Oh, yeah. I, I've been a fan, like, a lot since I was younger, mm -hmm. so, yeah. It's just, re it's just something that I really kept close to my heart, but mm -hmm. this set in, uh, in particular, it has, like, just all the characters that I really love. Like, yeah. you know, it has Mysterio, it has Venom, it has um, Green Goblin, it just has every, it really has everyone Honestly, here. I'm very amped about this. It looks like so many Lego pieces. Thank you <laughs> yeah. so much to Lego for that. And since you're so good at making videos, both in miniature and I'm assuming bigger scale, I've got another thing to knock off your list, and it is this super cool drone. No way! So this is the DJI Mini 3 Pro Quad drown with remote control and a built-in screen. It's worth over a thousand dollars, which is kind of exciting. Uh, I know. Um, but big thank you to Best Buy for that. And will you send us some pictures and video of the, the stuff you do with these things? Of course. Oh my gosh. Preston, I'm so excited. Thank you. Thank you. Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse is now available to rent or buy on home, it, sorry, at your home, <laughs> on your favorite digital platform and available in stores on Blu-ray and 4K Ultra HD. And? Everyone in the studio gets to go home with a Blu-ray copy of the movie. Woo! We have to take a quick break and we'll be right back. I was too excited to have this drone for you! Hey, Mary here. What did you think? Drop your comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more of the good stuff.